Natural gas. Natural right? gas, yeah. So it's Thursday. We get EIA numbers, 1030 Eastern time. Uh, let's pull up that natural gas. We've seen crude oil climb this morning, right? 6307. But jumping over to the commodities, we'll jump into that natural gas. Let's see where we start off from the 11 a.m. expiration. So natural gas trading at 261.1. Uh, we're looking at the June contract. Quite a little pop this morning. Not sure where, uh, maybe that was 830. Is that housing? I don't know. Uh, was that Look jobs? That. Is that well, yeah, 59 to 63, back to 61, right? Hey, four pennies. That's, that's yeah. quite a pop. Oh, yeah, big time. Um, for sure. Excuse me. Um, so we were trading at 261.1. We get, it's almost 1025. We get the inventories at 1030. Looking at what some exposure to the upside and downside might cost us. On this one, we're going to have a little bit of a bullish bias, right? We got, and this isn't bad. I can already see it in terms of it's costing us $15 for the bullish spread, but of that 11 bucks is basically intrinsic value. So you're paying four tenths of a penny for the bullish one, and you're going to be paying a little bit more. So $21 or 2.1 pennies. What's nice is if you're bullish, you're already a penny in the upside. Yeah, right. Right? I mean, that's why it's not much premium at all. Um, even if you just want to make a bullish trade, you know, you're trading at 260, 2609. You're getting in at 2613. Your losses are capped at 260, and you got exposure to 11. Let's see where the noons line up. Give yourself a little bit more time, maybe. 12 o'clock. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. So those line up with only 265, and that's because we had natural gas up near Ooh, 265 yeah, right. when those would have gotten opened. But let's see where the dailies. Come on, give us a 260. There we go. So the dailies go till 230. Now we always mention this. We have the 40 cent dailies here. Yeah. I'm just gonna pull up it. But then if you go into the dailies here, you got 50 cents. And I know that they're always ticking. Oh, look, they're, they're close, but they're not exactly. No, they're not. We got 264.3 on the bullish side, um, and I'm not willing to pay an extra two ticks because I'm okay with my profits being capped at $3. Right, yeah. Um, so that's right. Oh, look, there we are, though. Now we're back. We got So there, there you go. And I thought they'd be the same. What probably happened is somebody took this five. Yeah. The market maker drops for a moment. Yeah. And then the market maker picks back up, right? Look at um, that exact number. Yeah, and it would make sense because there's no... there's probably one out of a thousand times maybe it's going to rise above three dollars right we but so bullish side and again not bad we're trading at two two six one two two sixty one two and you're getting in at two sixty two one nine ticks um let me set up the bearish one as we go into the break where are we it's going to be nine ticks so you're looking at thirty dollars for two thirty We'll see what happens. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 229. NASDAQ up 92. S&P's up 28. Come right back.